Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Haley from Bargain Bug. Today I'm doing another book haul. I have accumulated so many books and I just wanted to share and show them. So I've actually got two of these bags down here. Um, I have a lot more chapter books this time um, and I've just been accumulating so much. So I've accumulated books from Goodwill and I especially like going um, to the Goodwill and going to their children's book section and looking for the tag of the week um, at the Goodwill Local to me, um, or I guess where I was for the summer, um, they had books for 99 cents and then the colored tag was half off. So I got lots of books for 50 cents, which is an amazing deal. Um, I went to a few book sales, garage sales. I got some off of Facebook Marketplace. Some of these are free, some of these I paid for. I think the most I paid for any book was I think three dollars, two or three dollars, and that was for a hardback book I'll show you. Um, but other than that, I think I will just uh, hop right in and show you. So pulling out of this bag here, um, one of my absolutely exciting books that I got was this book, Dragons Love Tacos. I'm planning on reading it here pretty soon to the class that I'm student teaching for. Um, it's absolutely funny. I definitely recommend and I'm on the hunt for Dragons Love Tacos too. And then this book, The Day the Crayons Came Home, and this book, like I was mentioning, had the color tag and it was the tag of the week. I got this book for 50 cents. What an amazing deal. Um, I've been looking for The Day the Crayons Quit and on Amazon it's like 10 bucks. And I mean, obviously, like, books are important and I really want it, so I probably eventually end up buying it, but I'm really trying to find it for cheap, because 50 cents compared to 10. Um, this one's also really funny, and this one is written in kind of like a letter format style. I really liked it, so. This one, I think I'm just going to throw my picture books first, because there's really not that many. Okay, so I got... If you give a cat a cupcake, which I'm trying to get all the books in this series or this by this author. So the and you give a and you give a books. So I've got this one. I got this book. This is Goldie Rocks and the Three Bears. I really like the spin on it. Um, it's pretty funny, and I think just I really like the spins on um, classic fairy tales. I think that they're really interesting. Are You My Mother, um, and this is a beginner book. Um, I got this from a book sale, and this book is really funny. If you haven't read it, definitely recommend. A classic. Pretty much all Dr. Seuss books are classics. Um, Great Eggs and Ham, so I wanted to get it, and I did. If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. Again, I got this at a book sale, and this, um, I think, I've got, if you give a dog a donut, and then the cat, cat a cupcake, and now this one. I know for a fact I don't have like the original, um, so yeah, all of these are on my list. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, again, a classic. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to have this in classrooms just because of Christmas and celebrating it. Um, I think I'm fine, but I'm not sure, but... Again, a great book and would good to be pull out around Christmas time and read. My Father Knows Everything. Um, or sorry, My Father Knows the Names of Things. This one's a really cute book. I like it. Um, and then this one, I believe, um, I'm pretty sure I got it from Goodwill. And um, I think so, or maybe a thrift store or something, I can't remember. Um, and I believe it's supposed to have a, like a jacket, a cover jacket on it. Um, the name is on the spine, but it's also Rosie Revere Engineer. Um, and I think these books are super important to have because it's about an engineer and there's like, I think there's one about a scientist. And so I think it's really great to have these books um, and have scientists represented in our children's literature. I forgot a few more picture books. So this is called Moose Tracks. Um, I don't believe I've read this before. It looked cute. I kind of flip through books and like half read them. Sometimes I will fully read them before I buy them, but this was a 50 cent book, so I thought it was worth it. 
best friends, The Diaries of Worm and Spider. This is a really great book. I remember it from my childhood and it's got the worm of the diary of a worm and the diary of a spider in here. So it's like two books in one. And again, I'm pretty sure I got this for 50 cents at Goodwill. Maybe I got it for a dollar, but great price, great books, and can't beat it. And then last but not least, Crankenstein. And um, I'm not sure that I've read this book, but this is my favorite illustrator. His name is Dan Santat. Um, I took a education class that was children's literature um, in college, obviously, I think two years ago. And uh, we had to do an author study, and I, or an author slash illustrator study. And I did one on Dan San Santat, and I absolutely love his books. Beagle, The Adventures of Beagle won the Caldecott, and After I Fall is an amazing book. And I really just like his style of art. Um, it's quite amazing. And I think I've accumulated at least two or three books of his. Um, again, got this at Goodwill. So great price. Really happy about that. And now onto chapter books. So I have been waiting to do a haul to organize these so they're not organized by series or really organized at all. But um, here are three Magic Treehouse books. I do also have the first one. Let's see, let me just grab all my magic tree hats while I'm talking about them. Here we go. So, I have, these are some of the few that I have. I don't know if I've hauled any more. Um, this number one is Dinosaurs Before Dark. And um, I'm just going to pause my book haul kind of. This is not like sponsored in any way, but I really wanted to mention it. Um, Kellogg's has this program going right now. It's called Feeding the Reader or Feed the Reader. I'll leave the link down below. That's how I received this book. And so what it is is you buy a participating product and you scan your receipt and you submit it to the website Kellogg that the website that Kellogg's is running. And then when they approve it, you get a credit for a free book. And so there's lots and lots and lots of books. Lots of Magic Treehouse. There's Junie B. Jones. There's some picture books. There's some in Spanish. There's some of the like, who is, who are. Um, I think I have one of them in, oh there I am. What is the World Series? This, I didn't get it from there, but this series. Um, so that's how I got this book, brand new great condition like I mean new so um anyways I just wanted to mention it and I'll leave some things in the link I will leave some information in the down bar below but I found it on Instagram so I have the first Metro Tree House Dinosaurs Before Dark and I ordered the um companion book off of that Kellogg website for this book they have a non-fiction tag along series so number one and I've got number two, and this one is the night, the night at dawn. I've got number four, which this one is pirates past noon. Number five, the night, the night of the ninjas. And then the rest are kind of randomly numbered. I've got number seventeen tonight on the Titanic, and this one was from a bookstore. And it was a dollar fifty. And then number eighteen, Buffalo Before Breakfast, again one fifty. And then Good Morning Gorillas, number twenty six. And again, I paid one fifty. I paid one fifty for a lot of these books because I think that they're super important and super great to read. And then these are just some random books. So this one is called The Teacher's Funeral, a, a comedy in three parts. I've never read this before. I got a bunch of books from the same place. So some of them I wanted and some of them I just, I didn't know. So it's part of that. The Bell Bandit. Again, haven't read this before. Don't really know much about it. So these books that I have, I'll do some research before I put them in my classroom. Look at them. From that same person, I got three copies of The Emerald Bear. Island of the Blue Dolphins, which I never personally read as a kid. I know quite a few people did, and this one has the Newberry Medal. And then again, what I showed you before, the What is the World series, the cover is a little um, bent, but I think these books are super important for kids. The What is, Who is, What are, What, Who is, Who was, What is, all those sort of things. Sort of things. I think they're super important, so... I got that. 
And then I got quite a few uh, Junie B. Jones between a couple different piles. I, again, I think Junie B. Jones is an amazing series and I think it's really important for kids um, to read books that are funny and books that they'll enjoy. Um, and I grew up with these books, so I just really wanted them for my classroom. I know I really enjoyed them at this age. Uh, my mentor teacher shared with me that she prefers the Judy Moody books because she, the first time that she read one of these books, she was like, wow, that kid doesn't, like, that seems like a not so good kid and maybe setting a bad example. But um, these books, I'm pretty sure are what got me into reading. I really liked these as a kid and they were really funny, so... Um, I've got Junie B. Jones as a party animal, and I, this one was $1.50. I read a lot of these books at the same time. Um, the Dr. Treehouse and the Junie B. Jones. Junie B. Jones and the Mushy Gushy Valentine. Junie B. Jones, oh, Junie B. First Grader, boo, and I mean it. This would be good to read here pretty soon since Halloween is coming up. Dumb Bunny, Junie B. Jones, Dumb Bunny. Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day. Junie B. Jones has a monster under her bed. And Junie B. Jones is almost a flower girl. And then I've gotten a few of these A to Z books. Um, I'm not sure where I put one. I just got one from the local library for 10 cents. That was amazing. Um, and I believe it was like the something canary it was c this one's a the absent author i didn't have that one and then this one is you the unwilling umpire the absent author and the unwilling umpire so i have a few of these books my goal is to collect them all we'll see i got this this is dr nicholas is ridiculous um these are pretty popular and i believe i have either number one or number two i got somewhere else that I mentioned in my previous haul. Uh, Dear Dumb Diary, Let's Pretend This Never Happened. I believe I read these when I was younger. It was either me or my little sister. Um, but this one's number one, so it'll be good to get kids into a series and it's got pictures in it, so. It's pretty popular from what I remember. Um, I remember these books like crazy when I saw these uh, I was so excited and I'm pretty sure they're still kind of popular um the one of the other third grade classes one of the other third grade classrooms in my school she has a whole set of these so I think that they're still popular still enjoyed by kids these also have some pictures in them so this one is Katie Kazoo Switcheroo Quiet on Set and this one is Katie Kazoo Switcheroo Anybody But Me I'm sorry, anyone but me. This is Katie Kazoo Switcheroo. Who's Afraid of Fourth Grade? Super Special Switcheroo. So I got the three of those from that series. I got this book, Bad Guys, The Guide to Being Good. And I got Lulu the, and the Duck in the Park. Um, I, I believe I got this because it was 50 cents. I don't really remember, like doesn't really seem familiar but it looked like it was a good book and there's some pictures in it and so it looks on the younger side and then the two books I saved the best for last the most things that I'm most excited about getting these are what I paid the most for are diary of a wimpy kid so and these are hardback and they're like brand new condition amazing condition like they look like they haven't like practically even been opened or read there's a little bit of marking like a little bit of like bending of the spine showing that like it ha has actually been used but this is the first book and then this is the second book and i already mentioned this to um one of the boys in my class that um i told him that i had these in, um and he asked if I could bring them so he could read them because he was reading number 11, I believe, was what my teacher has, um, my mentor teacher has in her classroom library. And I asked him if he had started from the beginning and read the first book. And he was like, I don't think so. Um, I don't know. And I was like, would you like that? And he was like, yeah, I would. So I'm going to bring these in. I was just waiting to film this video. And that's all my books that I've got that I have 
purchased and obtained from my classroom library. Um, it's a little bit out of shot, but this right here is a whole tub full of books. So I'm super excited to be able to use those. And I'm super excited to be able to organize these and put them in there and bring them into my classroom um, this year as my student teaching classroom and then in future years as my own. I am just oh, super excited and I wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm also going to insert a clip that I filmed quite a bit ago um, that I screen shared from my phone of an app that I've been using to keep track of my books. Um, I believe it was recommended for me in my last book haul. Um, so I'm going to insert that now. Hello, this is a screen recording, but I thought I would show you this really cool app that I got recommended to me called Handy Library. And this is an app where you can choose to use... Um, to store your books, to see all the different books that you have. So these are just some of the few that I was able to scan in. And so you click scan the ISBN and I have my book right here. I scanned it and that's the sound the app makes. And then it pulls all this stuff up depending on the book and how, like, how it is. This is kind of how it does. It even has the picture. And for whatever reason, if the picture, if there wasn't a picture, you could click camera and then take a picture oh there's my face <laughs> take a picture of it yourself but since it had it there I just kept it you can make notes you can change all of these things and click save you can also search online for different ones and so for example this was called the bad guys I could search that and then it has a bunch of different books so I had this book which was the second book here and I can see the picture oops that's the wrong one this one here and you can click that and there's searching and then there's also a add manual so you can go through and add these things in all yourself and then you have the option of looking at all of your different books that you have there's also a search feature at the top so for example i want to see all my magic treehouse books i can just search that and i can see all the ones that i have scanned in and then there's also a lent slash borrow so if you were um, either borrowing somebody borrowing somebody's or if you let your books out there's even a wish list so you can go through and search that um, I just think this is super helpful it was recommended to me in the comments of one of my videos and I wanted to recommend it to you and I just want to say thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up comment down below any student teaching videos that you would like or comment any books that you think I need for my classroom I definitely have many on my wish list um, I don't have a ton of newer books. I feel like I'm going for a lot of books like nostalgic from my childhood, like Junie B. Jones. Um, but I believe they're still popular. And I'm trying to get newer books. I'm just not trying to pay full price for those. So if you have any suggestions on where to get cheap books, any suggestions on books I should have for my classroom, or any um, suggestions of videos you would like to see student teaching related or elsewhere. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!